Hey friends, Bill Stevens here. Had a question the other day, can people change? Well, I'm going to answer that at the very end of the video, but I'll tell you a quick story about me first. You know, I would have, I would have been voted least likely to become a pastor. That's uh, the days of me having cool hair and a, a mohawk and uh, shaved stripes and painted stripes in the head and cool dangly earrings. Uh, those days are well behind me. And, you know, I thought I was living a good life. I was looking for the next best thing uh, to fill that emptiness in my life. I put my hope in all kinds of things to fill that emptiness. It was whether it was the, the newest car or the next experience, the next relationship, the, the next drink or, or the next technology, you know, the newest technology. Man, that's just what I need. And, and I tell you what, it left me angry, left me frustrated, left me empty, left me with a, a list of regrets and just brokenness in my life. And, uh, and I did this when I was 14 till I was 25, 11 straight years where I just ran hard in that direction. And uh, I, I, knew, I knew dozens of bartenders by the first name, but I knew the bouncers more personally. And, and then, you know, someone invited me to a party uh, they were having once a week. It was a different kind of party. It was a party where they were serving snacks and doing some life coaching and playing games and and but also discovering the Bible together and and I'm like that sounds odd it sounds interesting and I'll go to check it out to see who's there and then we'll plan which party we're going to later that evening and so that's what we did and but I tell you what happened though in that process of me encountering God's Word and Christians who were trying to help give us some spiritual direction, kind of like spiritual, spiritual navigators, if you will, what happened is I had a life-changing spiritual Christ. And that emptiness, that regrets, the revoid, the, uh, the pain, that was gone instantly. The, uh, I, I knew I was forgiven by God. I knew I'd experienced forgiveness. How do you know you're forgiven? Well, how do I know I have a shirt on? Well, I put it on and, and I feel it. Uh, it's the same way you, you know when you've been forgiven by God. And that emptiness was gone because it was filled with the presence of Christ in my life. And, and that happened whenever I realized and understood that Christ was God. He was God become man. And he came and he revealed the Father to us. And he came and he died on the cross for our sins, taking the punishment, the guilt, the shame, the regrets, all of that that I have, all of that that each of us have, he took that upon himself so that we could be forgiven, so that I could be forgiven, so that you could be forgiven. And instantly, when I put my, I called out to Christ and said, I believe. I'm trusting in you, uh, your death on the cross to wash away my sins. I'm going to follow you. I'm, I want to be, I, I want to be a follower of yours. I'm, me leading my life has really messed it up, but I want to follow you. And whenever I did that, I want you to know what happened. That's when the love of God filled my life. The forgive, I knew I was forgiven. He forgave me. Uh, his joy, his peace filled my life. And my life took a radical turn. I never went back to that lifestyle at all. Never wanted to go back. He changed inside what I couldn't change, the broken desires and the desire to fill that emptiness with stuff that's not going to fix it. He changed that instantly. That was something I couldn't do of myself. And so I tell you that to tell you this, that Christ loves you and that, yes, People can change, but we're limited to what we can change ourselves. We can't get deep inside our heart and change that. But I want you to know, I'm living proof that God can change a person's life radically and put you on a new path and give you such joy and fulfillment in that path that it is amazing. It is amazing. He can transform your life to something that's messed up, to something that is so much better. And I'm living proof of that. So after that life-changing experience with Christ, I experienced significant business success. I was offered to purchase one of the leading tractor companies in the state of Louisiana. I knew that's what I'd always wanted, but I knew that's not what God wanted for me. And more I prayed about it and sought God, I knew he wanted me on a ministry pathway. So I, 
I pursued that. I had other friends who had the same life-changing experience, but God called them to a business pathway. And I've done a lot of fun things. I've owned a software development company. I've owned a digital marketing company. And, but the greatest joy that I've got to do and have in my life was to help others find their hope in Christ. That has been the absolute greatest thing that I get to do. It is a privilege and honor to do that. And so, look, check out one of our community group meetings. I know you'll find it fun. I know you'll meet friends. And I know you'll connect with God in faith. So God bless you. Check it out. Looking forward to seeing you at one.